this video is all about um, uh, the file IO and file NIO classes in Java and uh, it's really geared towards um, the ability to check if a file exists or not um, and the ability to write to a file, close a file. Um, in a subsequent uh, video I'm going to look at how to open a file. Um, <clears throat> so in this case uh, what I'd like to do is just create a simple program that's going to prompt a user for a file name um, if the file name already exists, they're going to prompt them for another file name until they get a unique file name. And then um, what they'll do is they'll allow the user to enter data into the system um, and it'll write it to the file um, until the user enters the string minus one. Once they enter the string minus one, then the program should terminate, close the file, and then we can access the file through other text editors. So let's see how that might look. So we've got our, uh, our main method. I'm going to do most of it in main here. I've created a class that just says creating a text file. Um, so let's, let's go here. So we got, <clears throat> um, I'm going to need a scanner object to, to get the information uh, from the user. So let's create that. And then uh, the next thing we need to do is prompt our user. So I'm going to say system.out.print. Okay, so there we have a nice prompt for our user, and then we're going to store uh, whatever file name they gave us in a string called file name. So once I have that, I can create something called a path object. Now, a path, um, as you're most likely aware, is um, it's the root in the directory structure of your computer to access to get to that file. So I'm going to set up a path and call it path uh, is equal to. Now I can do interesting things. Now in the files uh, class, there's some static methods. So if I say files dot, um, I can actually check if something exists. So if, if I read this, um, if I give it a path, this tests whether a file exists or not. So in this case, if the file already exists, I don't want to use that file name. I want a new file name. So a new file dot exists. Oops. So really what I want to do is I want to keep asking uh, the user for a valid file name um, when this uh, exists. So I'm going to say do that while the file exists. to do while the path exists. <clears throat> so let's just uh, do a little test here. Actually. Say the file name provided and then I'm going to do a little test here. So I can say uh, files.exists. This is like a, a condensed way of doing an if statement. So I can put in my path. All right, so this will evaluate to be true or false and then I can return file name provided. So if it's true 
say already exists. Otherwise, does not exist. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look at this. Let's run this. So a pretty small program. If I look at my computer here, um, we're in. We're in the week 12 area. So if I go in here, so I've got my documents, NetBeans, here's week 12. So here's the, the this is the, the root directory where um, this is going to look for files. So I have, for example, a build.xml file and a comments and experiment.txt files. So let's, uh, let's run this and see what it says. Please enter a unique file name that we can write to. Be sure to include the txt extension. So I know, um, I know that uh, build.xml exists. Hmm, I need to put some new lines in here. <laughs> All right, let's make this a little more, a little more user friendly. So build.xml build build already exists, and it says uh, the file name provided already exists. Um, and let's try another one. Let's try, uh, I don't know, monkeywarrior.txt. That file name does not exist. So if I wanted to, um, if I wanted to uh, get a unique file name, here's an easy way of, uh, of doing that. So now I've got a unique file name, and I can use a, uh, a simple, uh, a simple uh, system here. Um, there are many different ways to write to a file in Java. Um, there's print writers, buffered writers. Um, one of the easy ones uh, for just doing a basic text file is something called a formatter. Formatter works very much like printf if you're familiar with printf. So um, I'm going to create here, I'm just going to say formatter, and I'm going to call this uh, an output stream. Say a new formatter, and I'm going to pass in the file name. Right? So, and it doesn't like file name because I built it inside of the loop. So let's. Okay. So what's complaining about right now is it says unreported uh, exception, file not found exception, must be uh, caught or declared to be thrown. So there's two options with exceptions. Um, one is we can do a try and a catch, meaning we're going to catch that exception um, and handle it. The other is we can throw it, um, which basically, um, again, it, it, it'll cause our, our system to stop working. So let's, uh, let's try it. We're going to do, we'll put a try catch in here. Okay, so try, catch. So if we get a file error, we can just say it's not valid. Ladder import. Okay. So now, if we, in theory, this should work. Um, we can try it. It's going to, it's going to open up a, a text file with whatever name we've provided it. Um, so in here, we can set up our, our loop. We're going to keep asking the user um, uh, to enter data or to enter strings. And once they enter uh, minus one, then we want it to stop. So I'm going to say, um, Let's create a string called user input string. So 
So while user input um, uh, say equals ignore case a string minus one. And that's okay. We haven't uh, we haven't used it yet, so that's fine. So we'll say system dot out. Okay, so what this will do is, it's going to prompt the user for a little bit of text to go to our file. And we're going to store it in this string called user input. And um, as long as it doesn't equal the minus one, then it's perfectly valid to, uh, uh, to print it to our file. So I'm going to say, uh, if do the same kind of conditional test here. So if it does not equal that. Then I'm going to say output stream. Right. Remember, this is our our format our formatter object here. And then I'm going to say format user input plus a new line character. Okay. So as long as it's not the thing that we're going to use to stop it, um, keep printing it to our file. And we'll catch it. And at the end, we're going to say output stream. Dot close. Okay. So you always have to close your file. Uh, that's when uh, the final uh, write action happens to it, um, and then it's accessible for others to open and, and look at. So let's try this. Okay. Enter unique file name. So. Uh, comments.txt. That one already exists. So what if I said uh, comments2.txt? A very good name, isn't it? It says FL name provided does not exist, so enter some text, it'll go in that file. All right. Um, wow. This is, this is great. Uh, Java. It's lots of fun. Um, and I can enter minus one, and it'll say build successful. So let's go look now in our file, and here I can see uh, there was comments which already existed, and then we add just built comments two. And if I edit this with Notepad plus plus, I can see here's all the lines that I wrote, but my minus one isn't in there. So there's a kind of a simple way that you can create a, a program that checks to see if a document already exists. Um, so we're using a little bit of, of the path capabilities. And then we're uh, using the formatter to print to a file. I hope you found that fun. Thanks a lot.